got big news this morning. A breakthrough blood test could be a long-awaited game changer in the fight against Alzheimer's. Neurologist and professor Dr. Mary Ellen Kiseno joins us live to talk about this new test. Good morning, doctor. Hi, good morning. Yeah, really, it's okay, so exciting. So this, and this everybody's, is... everybody's talking about this, this new test, oh. PTAU 217. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this sounds like uh, big news in the fight against Alzheimer's. Is it as big as it sounds? I mean, is it the breakthrough that, that we're hearing it is? It, it's a very accurate test, and it's from the blood. So it's you know, very easy to you know get. People get their blood drawn all the time, which is great. And it seems to be as accurate as the other tests we have, which are either you know more expensive or more invasive. And so, you know, the possibilities to, uh, you know, help people, you know, get this diagnosis or especially like early on when somebody, you know, might be concerned, but just have mild changes in their memory. It, would, it really would be groundbreaking to have yeah. a test like this. And, you know, this is so important. Well, because I read that it about, actually. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry for the delay. I keep jumping on you. <laughs> we are delayed a little yeah. bit here. Uh, so the, I heard that this can, uh, the blood test can identify Alzheimer's 20 years before the onset of memory and thinking problems. I mean, 20 years, that's a long time. And, and with, I mean, I'm assuming that brings a lot of hope if you can get that early of a diagnosis. Exactly. And so, you know, if we can get in there early, you know, there's a potential for prevention. And we know there's things that you can, we can already, you know, advise people to do, you know, make sure your blood pressure is, is you know, under control and lose weight, exercise, all those things are, are, you know, really healthy for your brain. But, you know, just if we had a test like this and you say, look, you're really at high risk, you know, not only can you start those lifestyle interventions, but, you know, researchers will start developing treatments that, you know, we can, we can actually measure their mm. effect 20 years before somebody gets Alzheimer's. And I was gonna say that there's 6 million people in the US who have Alzheimer's disease right now. And that's one in wow. 10 of everybody 65 and older. So this is really important. And I read that's expected, that number's expected to double by 2050 as the population ages. Why are we seeing such an increase in cases and how far are we from a cure? Right, so we're uh, you know getting better at diagnosing it and more people are coming to get diagnosed. So I think that you know we see those numbers increase mm because we're getting better at that. But also just our population is older. And so that eight, the baby boomers, you know, that age group, is just a large group of people that are in that age range to get Alzheimer's disease. And so we, we really have to think not only about, you know, new treatments and research, but what we can all do to try to, you know, keep our brain healthy and, and prevent this. And that's what the Alzheimer's Association, uh, you know, we want to put that message out there. And we have right now our international conference going on and it's free. People can register. It's virtual. You can watch it in your living room on the computer and so you can learn about all the new research everything that we're we're doing to work towards you know new treatments and a cure wow that's big thank you so much for joining us and providing that information uh, it'll be interesting to see where all this research goes you can find a link to the alzheimer's association in texas uh, by the way on our website fox4news.com uh, thank you so much uh, dr kiseno